Narrated Abdul Aziz. Anas said, When Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, invaded Kaibar, we offered the Fajr prayer there early in the morning, when it was still dark. The Prophet rode and Abu Talha rode too, and I was riding behind Abu Talha. The Prophet passed through the lane of Khaibar quickly, and my knee was touching the thigh of the Prophet. He uncovered his thigh, and I saw the whiteness of the thigh of the Prophet. When he entered the town, he said, Allahu Akbar, Khaibar is ruined. Whenever we approach near a hostile nation to fight, then evil will be the mourning of those who have been warned. He repeated this thrice. The people came out for their jobs, and some of them said, Muhammad has come. Some of our companions added, with his army. We conquered Kaibar, took the captives, and the booty was collected. Dihya came and said, O oh Allah's prophet, give me a slave girl from the captives. The prophet said, Go and take any slave girl. He took Safiya bin Tuyai. A man came to the prophet and said, O oh Allah's apostles, you gave Safiya bin Tuyai to Dihya, and she is the chief mistress of the tribes of Quraiza and Anadir, and she befits none but you. So the prophet said, Bring him along with her. So Diya came with her, and when the Prophet saw her, he said to Diya, Take any slave girl other than her from the captives. Anas added, The Prophet then manumitted her and married her. Thabit asked Anas, O Abu Hamza, what did the Prophet pay her as Mar? He said, Herself was her Mar, for he manumitted her and then married her. Anas added, While on the way, Um Sulaim dressed her for marriage, ceremony, and at night she sent her as a bride to the Prophet. So the Prophet was a bridegroom, and he said, Whoever has anything food should bring it. He spread out a leather sheet for the food, and some brought dates and others cooking butter. I think he, Anas, mentioned a sawak. So they prepared a dish of hais, a kind of meal. And that was Walima, the marriage banquet of Allah's apostle.